my boys. We have done a lot of Dragon Ball Z over on the channel. I mean, a lot of Dragon Ball Z. And here's the thing, though. We got we got a lot done. Like, I, I, I love the Team Four Star. I do. I love Team Four Star. I probably probably one of, one of my best animation companies that I've ever witnessed, bro. And so I got it got me thinking, what about the original Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z though? You know what I mean? I started thinking about that, like how did I really like the original Dragon Ball Z? And the, the few things that I thought of, I thought of a few times Dragon Ball Z went too far. And what do you know? There are videos of Dragon Ball Z going too far, my boys. So look, y'all, gonna check out today. I just need y'all to do me a favor, man. Hit the like button, go down below, subscribe to your boy, man. Make sure that you check out the uh, Twitch link down in the description, man. Love y'all, let's get started. The Dragon Ball franchise is the standard for powerful anime fights, pushing beyond your limits and yelling. However, that doesn't mean it can't have other quirks about it. In fact, watching the different series in the franchise, there's a lot of questionable moments and ideas brought up, both in their world and in ours. It's time we take a look at some of them. But before we shed our manners and get into these oh boy, that, that man ain't got no damn teeth, and that should be killing me, bro. Some raunchy moments. Subscribe to CBR and ring that bell to join our notification squad so you never miss any of our Dragon Ball videos in the future. Everybody loves Bulma. A common theme for some of the entries in our list involve the OG characters from the Dragon Ball series. Right. No, not Goku. In this case, his blue-haired <laughs> genius partner in adventure, Bulma. Bulma. She was really the GOAT, though. Like, on some real talk, Bulma was straight, strictly the GOAT. She made the Dragon Ball Z, the um, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Scouter. She made all kinds of stuff. She was like an instrumental part of them achieving the next level. She wasn't no Sakura ass bitch, you know what I mean? was introduced to us as Goku partner in finding the Dragon Balls. She pulls her weight in this adventure in a big way by using her creation, the Dragon Radar, a device used to track the ever-separating Dragon Balls. During this time, Goku is a small monkey boy child with immense power. This contrasts Bulma's pretty teenage genius aesthetic that she brings to the table during their adventures. Because of this, whenever they go out on the road during the series, Bulma is always the target of any romantic advances, <laughs> unwelcome comments, and ends up in awkward situations because- Is she- is she-, is she uh, taking a piss? ...because of her body. Krillin the Hustler. People love to write this character off as one of the weakest fighters, but just because humans aren't necessarily on par with Saiyans anymore doesn't mean this person will let you attack the planet and the people he loves. Right. That's right, it's Krillin time. Krillin was introduced to us as name. Goku's rival as the World Tournament began in Dragon Ball. After sailing for a long time on his own personal boat, Krillin arrives at the small island home of Kame House against Goku trying to find Master Roshi multiple women for a date. Krillin, having gotten word prior to his arrival on the island, came prepared as he has a gift for Roshi to help persuade him to give him training. He gives Roshi an entire stack of adult magazines. Immediately oh, distracted by the reading <laughs> material, he grants Krillin permission to become his student. Oolong, Roshi, and Bulma. <laughs> We've already mentioned that throughout the Adventures in Dragon. Basically, that man gave him a bit of porn. A, big, a, a bit of a porn. Just to get the man to train him, bro. That's why I'm saying, you know what? I, 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 you're right. I have been very hard on Krillin. You know what I'm saying? Krillin, Krillin has stepped up to the plate many times. Krillin is the best friend that you want to have, bro. And I think if Krillin grew a little bit taller, bro, I think a lot of people give him a little bit more respect. I, there's nothing wrong with him being a, uh, a, you know, a short fighter, bro. Krillin still be going hard. He still be going in, man. Shout out to my boy, man. I'm giving that more. That he gonna get more of my respect moving forward, boy. Dragon Ball, Bulma is pretty much approached by nearly every single adult. Well, it doesn't just stop at some of the humans like Master Roshi who make advances. We're also talking about other Dragon Ball characters like Oolong, the talking pig. Much like Roshi, he chills out for most of the day and indulges in adult hobbies. Not to the same degree as Roshi, but to the degree that he can be pretty over the top about it. He's got a big collection of women's underwear and can transform into different physical forms. More on that in a second. During oh, one of Goku and Bulma's shit. encounters at the Kame house, they needed to retrieve the Bonsho fan to put out the flames on Fire Mountain. Roshi would only give it up if he got a real chance with Bulma. She reluctantly agrees as it's the only way to save the Dragon Ball they're looking for. Oolong has a thing for Bulma too though. He transforms into a version of Bulma with bigger breasts for his liking and <laughs> takes a walking date with Roshi. On the date, he exposes his chest for Roshi and he's knocked out. Bulma's floored <laughs> that Oolong did that. Oolong may not be as big of a creep, but he He's definitely the runner-up. Goku and Bulma. 
They're the main adventurers of the original series, so it's not horrible to assume that Goku and Bulma might have had some possibly awkward encounters. Not in the romantic sense, but even the humorous sense can give us a few weird moments between them. For this right. example, Bulma tries to bribe one of the Dragon Balls away from young Goku. At this point, she understands what a lot of guys want from her, so she tries to appeal to his male senses. She gives her a flash of her underwear and offers him fair game at it if he gives up the Dragon Ball. That's crazy, boy. She was the first OnlyFans model. Her ass was trying to do some freaky shit for a little bit of stick. I don't, I'm talking about like, bro, honestly, bro, it's kind of funny. Uh, it's kind of funny the way that shit goes, bro, because you, you would, you know that a lot of women, you know a lot of women know, like they know what guys want. And women have the game down pat. Like they know, they like, he want a little bit of this ass. So, if you want a little bit of this ass, you're going to have to do something for me. But Goku being young, he don't give a damn about that, bro. He don't, he's, Goku's trying to train, fight, eat, meat. Let's move on. This backfires on her as Goku knows the Dragon That's Ball's Luffy. true value and accidentally insults her during his rejection. Burn. Another example in one of their first nights they spend together, Goku lays innocently on her oh. lap while they sleep. However, he begins freaking out when he doesn't recognize certain huh. physical features from Grandpa Gohan on Bulma. <laughs> she awakens him to saying, no balls, but she takes this as the Dragon Balls are missing. No, no Bulma, that's definitely not what he meant. We get that you're- He's a Bulma, you're balls, Bulma! A child, but you shouldn't be so handsy with someone while they're sleeping, Goku. But throughout the years, Bulma learned that Goku's one of the few people she doesn't have to fear in that area. Go, go, platonic friendships. Bulma flashes Master Roshi. We thought about holding on to this entry for our Dragon Ball list, but we couldn't hold back this class. Watch this. I can show you how to get the sweetest deals online when you shop from major retailers like Amazon and Target. No, long chance. Classic ass. moment between Bulma and Master Roshi. Roshi is referenced a lot here, but this one gets its own class of raunchiness compared to the other entries on the list. Early on, back in the start of the original series, Goku and Bulma were nearly at the start of their Dragon Ball adventure before meeting Master Roshi. After saving a sentient turtle from a giant bear, he introduces our duo to the turtle hermit himself, Master Roshi. We don't know anything about Roshi at this point, but we will soon learn that he's a powerful martial artist, being right. that he's the one that teaches Goku the Kamehameha way. After coming- Man, the straight goat, bro. This man is literally the goat, boy, or the turtle looking at me. Get on your shit, boy. You got them Samurai Jacks on your feet, boy. The Samurai Jack Sevens on your feet, boy. Get a man, got a, a, a Santa Claus, uh, evil Santa Claus beard having ass, boy. I'm gonna get your shit. Uh, Santa Claus on a vacation looking ass, when you get your shit. into contact with the duo, he gives Goku with the famous Nimbus Cloud. The Nimbus Cloud allows the rider access as long as the rider is pure of heart. Something <laughs> Master Roshi definitely is not. Soon after giving Goku his present, Bulma notices the Dragon Ball around his neck and asks how to have it. Roshi says he'll give it up if he could see her underwear. She concedes, but when Damn. she does, she unfortunately doesn't have any on, giving Roshi more than he asked for. Huh. How did little kids watch this? <laughs> Goku and Oob leave. Oh, the events on Dragon Ball Z regarding Majin Buu left the world destroyed, revived and spent on energy from helping create a spirit bomb to help defeat Buu. Goku hoped that Boo in his strongest Kid Boo form would be reincarnated as someone he could spar with that wouldn't be evil. Following that defeat, the world experienced another period of peace. In 10 years after those events, another world tournament is beginning and a lot of our heroes have entered. Goku gets particularly excited as he senses a powerful energy that he hasn't felt in roughly a decade. He starts searching around and finds Oob, a small village boy who has entered the tournament. Goku has Majin Boo, the good one, rig the bracket so he can face off against against Oob to verify his theories. Once in the ring, the battle ramps up as Goku continually pushes and challenges Oob. Soon into the fight, Oob begins to catch up to Goku in terms of strength and energy, shocking all of the Z fighters. Damn, boy, so you, yeah, I remember that, bro. I straight remember that. It was like, it was like for him to be, I wouldn't say a new fighter, but he's young, so you know he don't have that much experience. And what the what the hell was he? Who, who, what was he fighting that was gonna equal the strength of Goku? But he he's this uh, that the boy had a demon in him, boy. <laughs> boy, this is some Naruto shit. Boy, that boy had a straight demon in him. Boy, that boy is evil reincarnated, my boy. And I'm and Goku's going to train him. <laughs> but you know what? Hey, you know Majin Buu. 
Uh, the fat boo, he he turned good, and you know, it's so I don't know. I really I really didn't know how exactly how that went. I mean, I, maybe y'all can tell me down below. I didn't really understand that. Um, you know, you know, I I I think I think after that, I don't know. It's like I didn't have cable when I was growing up. So I can only get bits and pieces of shit, but as I became older, I started to kind of like connect the dots on a lot of things, and I re went and rewatched a lot of stuff, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't, re I don't really understand much that happens after the Boo Saga. Bro. Goku sees this as an opportunity and leaves with Oob for training following the battle. Although this shows initiative towards protecting the Earth in another crisis, it's totally short-sighted. He leaves with Oob, but leaves behind his wife and his children, showing <laughs> no regard for his family. Well, right. that's the life of a Saiyan, I guess. Android 18's beatdown. We know During he doesn't Boo care about Saga, his When the Z Fighters were dealing with the initial threat of Bobbity, the rest of the heroes were off collecting the Dragon Balls for the inevitability of using them to resurrect someone. We mean it's not like somewhere Vegeta didn't just die, so Dragon Balls would be pretty convenient. However, after the plane crashes, Master Roshi falls face first toward Android 18, who's carrying her and Krillin's daughter Marin in her arms. <laughs> she gave him the opportunity oh. to move his face from her bosom, but Roshi takes full advantage of his opportunity. Roshi smashes his face into her, trying to disguise it as a demonstration <laughs> on Bro, with with a daughter right there, bro. How she saved his life when the plane crashed. 18 coolly places her daughter down and swiftly manhandles Roshi. Roshi, who's in pain, still takes advantage of the opportunity <laughs> in front of him and proceeds to grab one of 18's <laughs> breasts. She finally shows him no mercy Damn. and spin throws him into the wall of the plane. Powerful on and off the battlefield, Android 18 was shutting down pervs way before Twitter. Blackface Mr. Purple. If it's a good enough reason to say something to the Pokemon franchise, it's good enough to say to the Dragon Ball franchise as well. Fans definitely made their opinions heard when one of their favorite shows made references to Blackface. Although not intentional, fans were incensed to see a character like Mr. Popo appear on the show. Mr. Popo is pitch black with wide, full lips and resembled an early 1900s minstrel performer or a racist depiction of a black person in general. The physical features that gave fans these assumptions are actually opposite of what Mr. Popo represents. Mr. Popo is a deity that lives on Kami's lookout as his assistant. He comes from Otherworld and was sent down to Earth to be the assistant to whoever Earth's guardian is. This puts Popo around 1,000 years old by his first appearance in Dragon Ball. Just because he isn't an alien doesn't mean he can't fight. Throughout the entire franchise, Popo has been seen during the training of many characters, either as a standby, sparring partner, or even as a teacher. You know what, here's another thing, bro. One, one thing, I, I never really too much cared about Popo, Mr. Popo being like a racist character, I guess. I, I think I'm more or less, I don't think, well, maybe he was a racist character, but just not for, for me. Like, I never looked at him like as a racist character for me. Like, with the turban on, and stuff, he always kind of remind me of someone from Aladdin or uh, somebody that's Indian. Like, you know what I'm saying? So while I still think it's, it's kind of, I don't know, it's just a really, really dark body and black, and, 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 and like, and then the red lips, no facial features, but then he is not really um, a person. So it's always kind of weird, like, like, you know what I mean? It's always kind of weird, bro. And you know, and I, I don't know, I don't know. That that's just how I felt. But I now in Dragon Ball Z Kai, they I mean not Dragon Ball Z Kai, Dragon Ball Z a bridge. Why do I hit the wall? Why do I just hit the wall? Can't get it right, hit the wall, ugly ass, but I'm just saying Dragon Ball Z a bridge, I think they did a really, really good job at a, at, at kind of hinting at the fact that he'll fuck everybody up. He's the first person Goku tries to fight upon discovering the lookout in Dragon Ball, and he later helps Goten train in his Super Saiyan form. His color does change in a later series, so we applaud Dragon Ball for taking note, even if it wasn't intentional. Is that right. Hitler? As a rule of thumb in comic books, anime, and pretty much any sort of fantasy series, death is laughable and lacks stakes. The entire namesake of this series refers to items that bring someone back from the dead. That refers to pretty much anyone, good or bad. 
in DBZ Fusion Reborn, we get to see some of the bad return. The movie mm. mainly features Goku and Vegeta facing off against the powerful creature known as Janemba, until they ultimately use the fusion dance to create a new warrior. It takes them a few tries, but we get Gogeta from this pairing. However, in one of the B-plots, Trunks and Goten face off against the <laughs> Dictator, a familiar looking <laughs> enemy fans would recognize from a history book. It's an animated version of Hitler. Many enemies return from the dead in this film, and one of history's greatest comes with an army. During their encounters, Trunks and Goten see their father's fuse into Gogeta. This gives them the inspiration to fuse into their famous boo-fighting fusion, Gotenks. The Dictator makes a comment on how Gotenks has blonde hair and blue eyes, which solidifies anyone who was still on the fence as to who this character was supposed to be. Thank goodness they dispose of him quickly. We don't think anyone wants to see that face again, real no. or fictional. Gohan and Piccolo Like a puppy being raised by a herd of sheep, an unlikely pairing can make for a great situation or a great relationship. Sometimes, even both. In the case of Dragon Ball Z, it's definitely a both situation, featuring Piccolo and Gohan. Gohan, Goku. Piccolo is black. Whose son is dressed like Goku to show that he's being prepped to go down a particular path of training. But once Goku was killed during the Raditz brawl, Piccolo took the reins in Gohan's training. Although it started off a little bit rocky, by the end of the Cell Saga, Gohan was fully rocking Piccolo's clothing as he received more training from him than Goku at that point. That right. must have been a big sting in the heart for Goku to have watched his son be trained by and dressed like his former enemy. Ouch. Outland. I don't, but I don't think I don't think Goku looked at him like that though. I think Goku at that point had let that shit go, just like we should let that shit go. Like Goku was just like, all right, that's your stepdad, ugly ass boy, for the for to get on your shit. But I, I I don't think Goku really thought of it that deep, bro. Honestly, unless I mean y'all might y'all can let me know, man. Some of some of y'all are able to like pick little bitty things and like really like dial in. And be like, and give me y'all thoughts. So just let me know. Did you think uh, 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 Goku really got mad about that shit? I don't think so. Y'all, that is the video for today. So if you appreciate this video, do your boy a favor, man. Go down below, hit the like button, man. Make sure you subscribe to your boy, man. We're dropping way more videos. And make sure you go on the gaming page, all right? It's going to be called Gaming with Quizzy, all right? Not going to be called it. It's called gaming with quizzy bro we dropping the stray game i played like five hours of that you know what i'm saying we got the south park uh stick of truth still rocking over there man so look y'all go down there man make sure you check that out man make sure you come back every single day on quizzy on demand why because we dropping three videos a day my boys